Yes, so hello guys, welcome to another edition of Sports Update Ghana with your boy Joseph Adamafio. And coming up in this edition, we're going to talk boxing on the channel because one of Ghana's boxers, Senna Adeku, was in action in USA as he came up against David Morel Jr. in the middleweight world title contest. Well, we'll tell you how that fight went down. Also, we're preparing for Freezy McBone's upcoming fight against Seydou Konate, which happens exactly seven days from now. Before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. So let's get right into it. And Ghanaian boxer Sena Adbeku was in action against David Morel in the WBA middleweight world title contest. And unfortunately, Sena Adbeku suffered a round two technical knockout as David Morel proved very tough for the Ghanaian boxer. So this was how it all went down. This was a fight that uh, Sena Adbeku has been looking forward to. Sena Adbeku is not the junior brother of Joseph Adbeku, if you might be wondering, but probably they might be related by name. So Sena Adbeku has been looking forward to this fight, as I said, and David Morel has been playing hide and seek with Sena Adbeku for some time. Well, let me get it all through so that we can get into the main fight. So this fight was supposed to happen back in April, but David Morel decided to go and fight another boxer and this got uh, Sena Adbeku very uh, frustrated and all. He came out to vent and all that. But Sena Adbeku was able to get through with that. In October, he got a fight and managed to win that fight by round two. Uh, KO, so coming into this fight in December, for me, I thought it was too early, but he ended up accepting this fight from David Morel, who finally agreed to fight him. Well, in this particular fight, we're hoping that Sena Adbeku will relish the opportunity of becoming a world champion for Ghana. But funnily, things went the opposite direction as Sena Adbeku succumbed to a round two 10 car knockout. Now, this was it. David Morel Jr. gave Sena Adbeku a barrage of punches, which our boxer Sena Adbeku failed to respond to. And in the end, the referee had to intervene and call off the fight because Sena Adbeku wasn't throwing punches to counter what David Morel was punching back. So that was how the 10 count knockout came by. And the knockout was in the second round around the uh, first minute of 43 seconds. One minute, 43 seconds. That was how Sena Adbeku got knocked out in this particular fight. I know he will be very, very disappointed because he has been looking forward to this title for a long, long time. But David Morel Jr. proved very tough. I don't know whether there's going to be a rematch over there because David Morel wants to get this away so that in 2024, he focuses on something else. But it has been a bad, bad year for Ghana boxing. I don't know if we've been able to record a world title, but no, it's been a long, long time we saw a Ghanaian win a world title. Um, I, Isaac Dobie got a world title shot, he couldn't get through it. Now it's Senna Adbeku, Richard Kome is almost through with his career. We don't know whether he's going to get a world title shot. And the boxing league we are fighting in Ghana doesn't look like it's going to produce a world title uh, champion very soon because we don't know how it's going and all that. But Senna Adbeku's fight was one that, if you ask me, I wasn't really, really looking up to it but I had it at the back of my mind that Senat Beku was fighting and I thought that after he has been yearning for this particular fight he was going to give Morel a very very tough fight but from what I watched the first round it didn't go well Charlie Morel proved very hard and tough on him I don't know whether he wanted the fight to travel so that you could give him a knockout around the uh, sixth or seventh round for him to be knocked out in the second round wasn't that well for me. So that is about it on Senna Adbeko's fight. He's here to uh, react to his defeat to David Morel Jr. But we wish him the best of luck as he holds to bounce back from this one and hopefully get another world title shot. Now, let's talk about Freezy Mac Bones. Yes, Seth Jima, as he's known originally, is set to come up against Singalese boxer Seydou Konate in their fight on December 23rd and it's going to be a blockbuster. Yes, this is a fight that is one of the fights that you should be looking forward to. If you are in Ghana right now watching this 
next week, December 23rd, you have to be at the Bukum Boxing Arena. Why? Because Freezy McBones fought Sadie Konate in the Olympics qualifiers in Senegal and Sadie Konate ended up winning the fight controversially as the judges gave him the victory over Freezy McBones in that fight and Freezy did not understand because Freezy was coming into this bout as one of the best boxers we have over here in Ghana and he's one of our exports to the UK so we were expecting him to win this heavyweight uh, contest against Sadu Konati but unfortunately you know how judges and scores go when you are fighting amateur qualifiers over there you don't get to knock out your opponent well they ended up giving it to the homeboy which is Sadu Konati and because it was his home he, that was how he managed to win the fight but Freezy McBone said no I'm not going to allow that so in order to get a fair match, well, I'm bringing you to Ghana so that we fight at the Bukum Boxing Arena in front of my home fans to see if I'm a good boxer or a bad boxer. So that is why Fritzy McBones is bringing Seydou Konate in Ghana. As at the time I'm talking, I think Seydou Konate is in Ghana and is also preparing for the fight. I'm gearing up to have an interview with Fritzy McBones and when it happens, you see it here as well. But some of the boxers on the undercard or the fight to expect on the undercard is Bukon Bakusan, that is Abu Kamoku, popularly known as Ambitious Tilapi. I've been doing the stories, we've been checking Ghana Web, you see it over there. I've been talking about him and I've been I've had an interview with him as well and says that he's ready to fight his boxer and it's going to be a night of Ghana versus African country. So Bukon Bangusan will be fighting a Nigerian boxer. So it's going to be Ghana versus Nigeria, Banku versus Eba. That is what it's going to be. And we expect, well, Abu Kamoko, Ambitious Tilapia, to win that particular fight. Also on the ninth, there are, there's going to be the fight between David Akambulum versus Samuel Ejay. That is another fight. Then we also have Kelvin Kata against Desmond Papo. And this are the fight to expect on Fizzy McBones fight on Saturday, December 23rd, 2023. To get the tickets, make sure uh, you dial star 203 star 0 star 1 hash and you can purchase your tickets for as low as 20 cities and the VIP is going for 50 cities and the VVIP is going for 100 Ghana cities. The tickets are very, very affordable. So I expect the Bukum Boxing Arena for the first time in a long while to be filled to its capacity. And this time, Freezy McBose, I'm sure, is going to deliver and make sure he beats Sadie Konate of Senegal. I'm told that the likes of the former president, John Dramani Mahama, as well as his family, that is Mahama, who has shown so much passion for boxing and his brother and sister, as well as their mother, are all going to be there for this particular bout. So you don't have to miss it. It's December 23rd and I'll be there to bring you up to speed and more here on the channel. My name is Joseph Adamafio and I have love for sports as well as boxing. I'm out.